going to do that. Then the marches. There we go. Trying to create a little bit of a rack to go up. But the BMWs are pretty tough. So, two, one, go! So we've just finished all the shows for the first day and in the first show it broke the half shaft so I'll show you how what we've done to fix it again so the fix um thing that undoes the wheel bearing big black thing yeah. massive in there I was just wondering where Tony Dixon actually buys his pants from. I'm not completely sure. the show on the very last jump put my foot down and it went on the three-wheel drive now it broke the half shaft again and this is a half shaft that we've just put in so I'm a bit worried for why it's just broke another one when it's only jumped two jumps and it went before I did the jump so interested in the find there's no metal in here so let's just take this all apart and see what it is
like the shaft again, look. Just to take it apart and change it. Yeah, I know the end Twisted it off. Yeah. I don't know really why it went. It was another clean break. I, I must admit, I did catch it a little bit and put it in all wheelie when it really didn't want to go. So I did push it a little bit, but I didn't think it a break that quick. So we done. Let's put a new one in. Check the diff. The diff was all right. Done the second show. Truck behaved itself really well. Done some really good wheelies with it and some more donuts with it. Yeah, so that's it for today. God, the sun is is really really shining here at Santa Pod. So done all the daily checks for the truck, so that's all checked over, ready for tomorrow. Um, just gotta go and refuel it and put it on charge in the morning. But that's it for today. Go yeah, walking the um, walking the two water cans in badly with security as well, just in case. So you have bought your own security? It's very glamorous. I think that's the worst water girl we've ever had at this show. Why? Well, she didn't spill it all the way up. I'm flipping top down here, spilled something. Yes. Flip it down, don't fit. That's not my job. I feel like. Chris Benzina puts the skyline into a spin.
emergency though. If you all go together, this may be a big one. He's holding the slide to clear the entire stack. Let's see how he gets on. In three, two, one. Okay, so we just finished the show at day two uh, here at Santa Pod for the main event. So we're just going back to the pit area. So we had a, one issue with the truck, but we found already it threw the alternator belt off the back of the engine. This hammer. <laughs> So yeah, so Matt's here working on the truck. So yeah, so that's the alternator belt that's come off. And the reason it comes off is it wears down and it gets a little bit thin and then it just spins over upside down. So just got to go in there now. And that's where the alternator is. It comes straight off the crankshaft. We carry uh, the, the new belts with us anyway, but we'll just put them side by side. There isn't see it just gets a little bit narrower when they wear and then when it wears it's just enough to make it flip upside down and then it comes off so let's get that on uh matt's just going around doing the checks Screws in the road so just cleaning up all the cars and stuff um but let's have a look at some of the other stuff that's here at santa Pod.
working this um, at the moment for this event. It's fantastic, I reckon. It's well exciting. It needs a bit of adjustment, oh, I think. It's all been nuts out from this player. Let's realign them. <laughs> yeah, so are you looking forward to the next show? Yes, I am looking, especially now um, King Dixon uh, have squared me up a little bit. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to knock Lee off of his bike, as per usual. Do you know, he didn't even squint when Claire got the spanner out. You know, he must be used to that. There's always, there's always one pervert, isn't there? Always. <laughs> yes, Russ, taking photos. <laughs> right, see you in a Out now in the Nissan 350Z, three and a half litre, rear wheel drive, and we can do some magic with this one. Okay, so that was some really good action. So now we're back down with the scrap cars. So these are the cars we've been using for this show. Um, this is a five series BMW. They're all really nice cars. These ones are all police seizures, these cars. So these are people who have had no tax or MOT or no insurance. They've all been seized by the police. So it's amazing what people drive around with no insurance. That is a that was a really nice car. They've all been fairly nice. But yes, yeah, so we've just gone over the cars. Um, this bit of the roof was staying up and what happens is it can hit the brake rotors. So we squash that little bit down and then we check over that. So on the top of that one, there was a sharp bit sticking up. So we just get in there with a forklift and then just push them over. But we're gonna have a brand new set of cars for the next day. So got one more show to do today. And that's coming up now. Now, we really are taking it up the notch. It's much closer. Get your cameras ready. This is something you did in the European Championships. The rear riding handstand. He's done it. Oh, 
Okay, Swamp Thing's all put away for tonight. Now, last show we broke yet another half shaft. I'm not sure if it's the new tyres I've got on the back because they're a full cleated tyre. They've got a lot more grip and also they're a lot heavier. So I don't know if that is a problem that I've got to adapt my driving style to cater with those new tyres. Um, got a couple of more half shafts. Just hopefully I've reshimmed the kingpin a little bit. It wasn't very loose, and so I just took a little bit of play out of it. Um, hope that's it fixed, but we'll have to find out tomorrow. manager in the road sweeper cleaning the, the debris from the cars because we just finished the show on our last day. Swamp Thing been really really good today we haven't broke anything yet. Touched some wood. Oh, I've got a really sore he head. Oh, I got a bit sunburned yesterday. It's actually called pod face. Um, you don't notice how hot the sun is because of the wind here. But yeah so Swamp Thing's all ready. We've checked it over. It's all ready for the next show but unfortunately Podzilla isn't going to be ready for the next show. It had a quite a hard landing. At the moment, we've got it with the telehandler behind it. If I take you around to here. So it's had a hard landing and it pushed it off the bead, but it actually broke the bead. 
on the inside so it's got a huge huge uh, gash on the bead on the inside of the tire and we can't actually get it back on we can't even get it back on there to seal it so I've, I've jacked it up I've put a, a I've used a mountain bike inner tube on both sides of it um, and we still can't bridge the gap because it's it's not the 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 out the inside of the tire isn't round anymore where it's ripped so they're going to try and get the spare tire up they've got a spare tire but it's on a rim so they're going to get the spare tire up but i don't think they're actually going to get it ready for the next show because the next show's in just just over half an hour away so this is my view from inside the forklift right do you want me to lift it up the maximum of weight on the forklift <laughs> okay pull the boom in a bit and we're right on the maximum lift of the forklift monster trucks are really really heavy right let's hand it over to drew and gary and let's get it out of here Enjoyed the weekend. Oh, I love it here in Santa Pod. It's the UK's most action-packed venue. 
So we just finished the shows at Santa Pop. We're on our trip on the way home. Um, yeah, the last show went really, really well. I really enjoyed that. Um, got to do a really, really quite a fast donut and then just go and park at the cars at the end. It's, it's, it's one of the things I quite like to do. But yeah, so truck has all behaved itself today. No broken half shafts. Yeah, th funny thing we got to the bottom of that. I've just been driving it a little bit different. So I've been trying not to be on the throttle when I land it on the ground to slap it straight up into a wheelie. I'm only gonna do wheelies now if it feels like it's gonna come up anyway. So yeah, just gonna take our trip back to Bath and we'll see you there. Bye bye. Made it all back safe and sound into the workshop. Look at the state of my face. I am so sunburnt. It feels really sore. Must remember, when you're at Santa Pod, you can end up with... It's actually in the English, English slang dictionary that you can have this thing called pod face. The wind, you don't realise how hot the sun is. And I'm going to be suffering tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, the, the action with it was absolutely fantastic at Santa Pod. Can't wait to go back there. The next time we're back up at Santa Pod, is the UK Monster Truck Nationals. Um, if you're into monster trucks in the UK, make sure you check it out. Um, you can book it straight from Santa Pod Raceway or on the UK Monster Nationals website. Um, yeah, we do side-by-side -side racing with monster trucks. Um, we do monster truck freestyle. Believe it or not, there's gonna be nine monster trucks there, including the ride trucks. But I think there's seven racing trucks there. That's the biggest number we've ever had there at the UK Monster Truck Nationals. Really looking forward to that. So that's on the 20th and 21st. So you can come over, you can stay the weekend. The, the racing and the freestyle is on the Sunday, but you can come on the Saturday. Um, they've got like a festival stage there. Loads and loads of stuff to do. Um, and of course there's drag racing at Santa Pod. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Just to know what you knew Christmas every time we